able to get it over 300 miles per hour. Look at the roll right on the vertical there. He's got that stick slammed hard into his left knee, and that airplane just climbs like a homesick angel. 355 horsepower in a 1,200-pound airplane. But as they say, what goes up must come down, and it does that one well too. Here's the pull. That's about six Gs pushing Scott Grant into the seat of the NXS. Over the top, right about now, weightless. the hard part going to be that pull out at the bottom of this maneuver. Oh, Back onto a 45 degree up line. There's that roll. One and a half to an inverted. That is a half reverse human aid. Oh wait, he's not done yet. Notice that throttle is all the way up. One, two, three, four. Four point hesitation roll. Very snappy. Tumbling the airplane around there in the, the series of snap rolls. That is a wild maneuver. Lots of G forces and very hard on the airplane. And that carbon fiber airplane is up to the job. Remember those negative G's? That's what he's doing right now. That's about minus four G's. Trying to throw him through the canopy of the MXS. Oh, baby, that's doing it hard way. And there he is. Ouch, 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 ouch. That's what you call an instant headache. Back onto the vertical, recovering from those negative G's. And yes, you do build up a tolerance for them. But until you do, and even when you do, inside snaps on the way down, they are difficult to deal with. Scott Grant is not taking it easy on himself or this aircraft. Up onto the vertical, a couple of quarter rolls. There's a full roll as the airspeed cleans up. Keep your eyes on him. But it happened quick. There's the rudder kick. That's the hammerhead small turn. Oh, he's trying to get it into a spin. He's trying to flatten it out. All right, Scott, and he's out of there. Outstanding. Like a barrel roll is going to happen here. Scott Frank is going easy on the G's there, but not for long. Rolls the airplane over, watch for the pull. And there it is, that's another half reverse. Here's an eight. It is a very popular turnaround maneuver used in aircraft as well as it is demonstrating the Roll rate in the MXS. There he goes. Negative again. That's about minus four G's. Oh, I'm going to get a headache just watching him. Coming over the top. That is the Huffy Buff, followed by an inside snap on the way down. He is cracking this airplane and himself significantly. By no means is Scott Francis doing an easy routine here. Coming around from the right. I hope you got your cameras and your recording devices going. Because here he comes, smoke is on. He's flying the airplane sideways. Oh, flying the like that. They're a little power net, isn't it? Oh, he's got 355 horsepower. That's a lot of ponies up front. Rolls it around once on the way down, building up speed. Getting some cooling air into that engine. Aerobatic airplanes, 
routinely abuse their engines. They're overheated, they're overrun, they are overstressed. Series of inside sap roads. It about four of them there. That is a particular wild tunes, especially when you do a series of them. Part about the engine that amazes me is the crankshaft. That engine is probably turning over anywhere from 2,700 to 3,000 RPM. They're getting thrown all over the skies with that big propeller up front, and it withstands all the stress. That to me is just amazing because when you're pulling six Gs, you're pulling six Gs on everything. Here we go. He's going to try to hover the airplane. Going to hang it on the propeller. And there he goes over the top. Pulls back, coming around over the top here. Holding the plane inverted. That's all. What is that? Back to upside. They're called snap rolls because they happen in of that. The trick is that you've got the left wing, you've got the right wing of the airplane, and a snap roll, only one of them is actually flying. Because of the asymmetrical lift, it tends to whip the airplane right around. And Scott Francis comes back and goes to the